Hello fellow developers, welcome to the installation guide for Nexus Dynamics 2.0. In this video, we will be covering how to install and utilize the system. Please share and hit that subscribe button if you want more. This project took us two years and we're excited to release it for you. I won't waste your time any longer and let's hop right into the video. First off, we need to get the model. To get the model, there will be a link in the description which will re redirect you to the creator store. Here you can find it's made by DevEquip. Please be aware, there will be people attempted to make malicious versions and sell it on the creator store. So confirm that this is created by DevEquip. If you need support, which we will talk about later, you can go to one of our socials and contact us there. To download the model, press get model. Currently, I can't because as of recording this video, it is currently privated. All right, from here, we need to open Roblox Studio. So I'm going to open my Roblox Studio. Once you're here, you want to open the game where you want to add Nexus Dynamics. For me, I'm opening the testing place for all the beta testers. Next step, you want to open Toolbox. I'm currently in the new gen, but I will show you how to do it in the old version. To find Toolbox within the new gen, you can go to Home and you'll find Toolbox right here. It will open this menu for you. From here, you want to select Nexus Dynamics. However, I currently don't own it, so it's not in my inventory. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna click or drag it into the game. I'm gonna click. You should see a spot on your map be brighter than the sun. You can now close toolbox and we can start installing Nexus Dynamics. The fun part about this new system is it doesn't matter where you place it, it will find it. So we can, we're gonna leave it inside of workspace. However, as you can tell, we don't want this on our map. So open it and delete the thumbnail that should remove this area now next step is to go into settings here we can adjust all the settings from the server that nobody can change in game example we can give people ranks such as one of my server managers will be developer now we can also add somebody's id by typing or copy and pasting it in if you don't know how to get an id go to the home page of roblox Go to whoever you wish to get admin and in the link, you'll find this number. Just copy that number and paste it inside a number. If you want multiple people, you can just add a comma. And then if it's a name, you add two quotation marks and type the name or you can add a comma and add the ID as a number. You can also give people free admin. All you need to do is tell the rank name that you wish to give for free. In my example, I'm going to give everybody free VIP. For friends, they will get whatever admin you specify. In my case, I'm going to give them admin because I'm nice. In private server owners, only the owner will get VIP because I said so. In assignments, this is a little more advanced. You can get assets where you can type the ID of the asset within the brackets and then the rank name which you would like to give to them. For game passes, it's done the exact same way. Paste the ID of the, the game pass and the name of the rank. For groups, it's a little different. All you're gonna need to do is go to Roblox. You can go to groups. Let's say I want everybody in the dev minds group to have a certain role. So we're gonna copy the ID in the link and we're gonna paste it in the first bracket. Then the second bracket will be the will be the rank so we're going to go back into roblox you're going to click the three dots at the top configure group and you're going to find yourself in this area go to roles and you'll find all the roles in your server you can click whichever you want in my case i'm going to make developers have the developer role you're going to copy this rank right here i'm going to go back into roblox studio and you're going to paste it into the first bracket inside of this Table. and you're gonna rank them whatever you want if you want multiple you can copy that whole thing paste it in and then get a new rank you can have multiple groups by pasting it in there and changing all the values if you want to change the prefix which will be by default whatever you set here you can set this to whatever you want like an exclamation mark you can say it to a keyword you can set it to slash if you really want to. I'm going to keep mine to the default. For those people that want admin tools, we have you covered. Let's say I want a tool from Toolbox. I'm going to use this flashlight that I just found. I'm going to insert it into the game and I'm just going to drag it into the tools folder. Once it's in there, 
you might see it on the map. This is why I'd recommend placing the whole file in server script service, then you won't see anything you place into the game. If you're not the person that would want to place it into server script service, you can just move the flashlight outside of the world so nobody can see it. But keep in mind, it will automatically be moved out of the world as soon as the game starts. To do game settings, all you'll need to do is go to file, game settings, security, and you need to enable all these options. The reason why? HTTP request is used with the Nexus Dynamics. API services is also used for data stores and everything inside of Studio. Third party sales is being used by some of the commands. Example, you can sell products from other people to people inside of your server, even if you don't own it. So you'll need to enable this if you use those commands. Teleport third party teleports. This will be used to teleport people in other games you don't own, which is also a command. Press the save button and it should be enabled. To access game settings in the old UI, go to home, game settings, security, and then make sure these are all enabled. Hit the save button when you're done and close that window. We're now finished installing Nexus Dynamics. You can now go to the play button and press play. We're now in the game and just give it a few seconds to load Nexus Dynamics because it is a big file. You, can, you will know when Nexus Dynamics is loaded when this notification appears. You can either click this notification to direct you to the commands page immediately, or you can go through the second process. To open the panel, you can use the key bind M, or you can press this top bar button we've provided. It will then show this menu where you can redirect to any page you would like to. There's dashboard, commands, manager, debugger, tools, logs, and developer console. I'm gonna open dashboard because let's start at the beginning. There, I've opened the dashboard and I see something flying across the screen. If you didn't know, the starter plays that chest has a killing lid that flies around because its hinge is broken. Roblox, fix that. Now that I'm in dashboard, you can mess around with it if you want to. However, this video is just the installation guide and not how to use it. If you click on this account button, you can go to build info. In here, you get a lot of information about this panel, such as versions of each module, the name of the thing you're using, the ID, the product number, everything else, the source code ID, and the serial number, which you won't need that. However, we have come to realize a lot of people like reading the source. So we've gone ahead and added a download button inside the panel, which you can use to download the source in the game. All you'll need to do is press the download button and it will ask you if you want to download the source. Currently it's privated, so I cannot download it, but once it's release date, you will be able to download it. Next, from here, I wanna show you some settings because these are crucial. Go to the account and press in settings. You will be redirected to this page. Now, a lot of this, you can think for yourself what they will do. I just wanna show you what's important. You scroll all the way to the bottom, the key binds you can set to anything. Example, the menu, which if you remember, you can have a keybind for M to open the menu. You can change that to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to say F4. I can press F4 and it's not changed to F4. So if I press F4, it now opens the menu. And command bar. This is another crucial feature, which we've given you the ability to change the keybind. Our instance, it is the quote. However, you can change it to whatever you want. And for those that don't know what this is, if you press the quotation key, is opening the command bar. This is a private command bar where you can run commands without anyone knowing except for the logs. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. Give us your honest feedback in the comments down below and we will be sure to answer any questions you guys have. We will see you in the next project. Take care.